In Barcelona, thousands of supporters of Catalan independence have taken to the streets to protest against the Spanish government's decision to hold a cabinet meeting in the regional capital. Separatist groups blocked roads and clashed with police. One protester was detained with material to make small explosives. Health officials in Barcelona said 51 people had been treated for injuries, the majority law enforcement. Government officials called for calm. We consider it absolutely positive that the cabinet meeting can be held in any place of the Spanish territory, and therefore we celebrate that we can be holding this meeting today, an ordinary cabinet meeting in Barcelona, which is, by the way, my city. This is obviously compatible with demonstrations and freedom of expression, which citizens enjoy. What we demand and we consider important is that these demonstrations can always be conducted in a peaceful way and guaranteeing the rights and liberties of the rest of the citizens. The administration of Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez had planned the meeting to show his commitment to granting Catalonia more power, short of full autonomy. However, grassroots separatist groups and unions say Sanchez has not done enough to secure the release of former Catalan leaders from jail and perhaps even another referendum. A night protest kept a day of demonstrations. We have had a season of protests and today provocation by the Spanish government through its decision to come here to hold a cabinet meeting deserves a peaceful response from the population. That's why I'm here to say enough is enough. They come today, they treat us as a colony, and all they decide is that um, the name of the uh, Catalan airport should be changed. And it's like, hello? We've got so many problems and this is all you can think of? No. I want dialogue and I want a referendum. It's what 80% of the Catalan people want, and I want it now. Another follow-up meeting between Spain's vice president and her Catalan counterpart is set to take place in January.